Hi, my name is Lin Sujie. I am a PhD student from the University of Hong Kong, and I am presenting our work, Autofocus for Event Cameras. This work was carried out at the University of Hong Kong in cooperation with Zhang Yingqiang, Yu Lei, Zhou Bing, Luo Xiaowei, and Pan Jia. Autofocus is a widely used technology for automatically focusing the lens system, allowing unclear defocused images to be clearly focused. And it is also important for recently introduced event cameras to capture the focused event. However, no existing solutions are developed for event-based autofocus. Therefore, in this work, we propose an efficient solution to solve the problem of event-based autofocus. We first formulate the problem. Conventional frame-based autofocus uses images to estimate optimal focal position. As image samplings have a low temporal resolution, related methods usually rely on each image's rich spatial content. Thus, motion blur and changing lighting could heavily affect the frame-based autofocus. Unlike frame-based autofocus, event-based autofocus uses event data for focusing. Event data is different to image because it has a high temporal resolution but low spatial resolution. And it is robust to motion blur and has a relatively high dynamic range. Previous work on frame-based autofocus usually rely on image gradient as a focus measure to indicate the degree of defocus. This strategy works well in image data. However, event data are radically different from imaging. Relating event with the focus position is a challenging problem. Specifically, we found four typical challenges regarding focus measure function, data modality, noise, and event size. We tried rather gradient directly from events, but the accumulated noise of event will bias over the overall estimation. Therefore, we propose to use the rate of change as a focus measure to suppress accumulated noise. And we found the event rate works well in indicating the focal position. Mathematically, the event rate can be related to the intensity variation in time. And then, given the pixel velocity, the intensity variation can be further related to intensity gradient. Since the relationship between the intensity gradient and focal position has been well established in previous literature, we can now connect the event rates with the focal position. Now we can define the event-based focus measure function as follows. However, to compute the measure score, we still need to set an interval delta t for event rate computation. Both too large and too small intervals will lead to inaccurate results, but a proper interval is quite hard to turn. Thus, we propose an event-based golden search to solve this problem. We first loop over all possible focal positions to collect events, and then we leverage the golden ratio to divide the collected event into two overlapping intervals, and compute the event rate of each interval. Then the entire procedure is repeated for active interval with a higher event rate. Recursively, the active interval will shrink by a constant proportion in each step, ultimately locating the optimal. We can see that our algorithm converges quickly in various conditions. Now, we demonstrate some results. First is the indoor experiment conducted under standard lighting with moving objects. We can see that our method can accurately focus the camera. Then we focus the camera in extremely low light condition on a moving object. You can see the event noise rise heavily in dark. But our algorithm works robustly well. Then we focus on a static object in extremely low light. Even under heavy noise, an event can be only generated by the focus breaking effects. The focusing result is still accurate. Our method also works well in challenging outdoor conditions. We also introduce the handshaking to the camera system, and the system can still robustly work. We compare our method with previous state of art using images reconstructed from event integration. You can see that our method gains the highest performance. We also collect the event-based autofocus dataset under various lighting and motion conditions for further research. Thank you for your attention.